Shalom. To start this lesson, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutation to the sincere brothers pushing this truth and all truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth diligently to USA Shalom. Under Brother Award, forgive me. Under Brother Award Ban Lawyer from the GMS Miami, the Heralds of Yahweh Shai Camp, and I come out, and I come back with another lesson. And the title of this lesson will be "It's the Lord, It's the Lord Ultimately, Famine of the Word." All right, it's the Lord ultimately famine of the word okay you know and i want to start i want to start off by saying man you know I, I know every brother i know all brothers you know notice you know as well how esau been taking down pages taking down videos you know videos from the past <laughs> you know videos you know you are being very on point, not saying this, not saying that, because you don't want the video to be clipped, and it was still clipped, all right, and etc. All right, in our in our minds, well, I want yeah, in our minds, you know, what comes to our what comes to our mind? Hey man, Esau being petty and etc. You know, Esau being petty and etc. That comes to our mind. Another thing that also comes to our mind as well, too, you know, family of the word. And and another thing that also comes to our mind it, our mind is is ultimately ultimately the Lord. Which it is, man. Okay? It is ultimately the Lord. You know? It is ultimately the Lord. The Lord is putting the spirit on Esau to clip to click video to clip videos. Clip our pages. Alright? And etc., man. All right, and etc. It's the Lord that's doing it, man. It's ultimately the Lord, man. All right, famine of the word is coming, man. Okay, famine of the word is coming. Okay, it is coming, man. It is nigh. It is near. Okay, <laughs> it is nigh. It is near, man. Okay, it is nigh. It is near, man. Okay, the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, about to take his men off the highways and byways. You know, shit. You know. <laughs> you ain't gonna be able to find the Lord's men on a YouTube or on any or on any uh, social media platform, you know, as well, man. You know, family of the word is coming, man. Okay, it is coming. All right, you Israelites, you had your time, man. Y'all still got time right now. Okay, y'all had your time when when it comes. All right, when family of the word comes. All right, y'all had your time. All right. Yeah, all right, and family of the word didn't come. Uh, you know, shit. You you Israelites still got your time, man. I'm gonna just say that you Israelites still got your time, man. All right, now, all right. But hey, y'all not gonna get right. Y'all ain't gonna get right. And hey, <laughs> that's the Lord as well, man. That's the Lord ultimately. All right, the Lord don't want y'all to get right. Okay, once again, the title is the Lord ultimately family of the word. Let's get into scriptures. This is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord Yahweh. And they, were the day, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro. And they, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord Yahweh and shall not find it. Right, man. All right. Family of the word is coming, man. Family of the word is coming. All right. Family of the word is coming. And it says in verse 12, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north, even to the east. They shall run to and fro to and fro to seek the word of the Lord Yahweh and shall not find it, man. All right. Family of the word is coming, man. All right. You niggas out here gonna let it. Uh, you niggas out here gonna let it get get bad out here. Then y'all gonna be y'all gonna be running. All right, trying to find the prophets and shit, man. Nah, man, the Lord gonna hide his men. Fuck y'all, man. Real talk. Fuck y'all. All right. Cause the Lord had his men out every week, every week. All right. Whatever whatever day brothers go out and prophesy, the Lord had his men out every week, standing, standing, standing. All right, on the streets prophesying. All right. And also telling our people to repent. Okay? The Lord had his men putting out lessons throughout the week. Alright? Telling the people to repent. Alright? 
telling them to get right. Okay? You people gonna let it get ugly, then y'all gonna then y'all gonna be running, you know, trying to get the truth. Alright? Nah man. <laughs> there's there's something called too late, man. Alright? And too late is coming soon, man. It's coming soon, man. Alright? Let's grab um Let's grab Ezekiel 2. All right, this is the book of, book of Ezekiel, chapter 2, verse 1. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me up, upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. And he said unto me, and he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel. All right, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. To a rebellious nation that hath rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day. For they are imputed, for they are imputed children and stiff hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou and thou and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, and they and they whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there has been a prophet among them. Right, man. Real soon they're going to know that a prophet has been among them, man. And it's going to be too late, man. It's going to be too late. All right? And there's there's individuals that know that... There's, 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 there's individuals that know, all right? They know now. But guess what? Are they getting right? No. <laughs> they're, they're continuing in their wickedness, man. They're continuing in their wickedness. And they're going to get judged, man. Real soon, man. All right? All right? But hey, man, I do want to say this. I do want to say this, man. I do want to say this for uh, for those people that walk past, that talk shit, that laugh, that record us, and etc. Man, yet shall know that there has been a prophet among them. They gonna know that real soon. And guess what? It's gonna be too late, man. It's gonna be too fucking late, man. This is Ezekiel the third chapter, and I'll, Ezekiel three and twenty six. And I will make thy tongue. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou that thou shalt be dumb, and shalt not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. Real soon the Lord gonna shut his men the fuck up, man. Okay? Verse 27. But when but when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus thus saith, thus saith the Lord God, he that heareth, let him hear. And he that forbeareth, let him forbear, for they are a rebellious house. All right. Verse 26, man. Hey, the Lord about to shut his men the fuck up real soon, man. Because it says, I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, man. The Lord going to shut us the fuck up real soon, man. All right. Real soon, man. All right. We did what we had to do, man. Already. All right. You should have, you should have, uh. You know, hey, the Lord gonna shut us the fuck up, man. I'm just keep it plain and simple, man. All right, I'm gonna bring out one more and close out. You know, unless anything else comes comes to mind. But this is Ecclesiastes three and one. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under under the heaven. There's a time and season for everything. All right, get right to the point. Where is it? Uh, um, verse seven. Well, I'll continue. Verse two. A time to be born. And a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill, and a time to heal. A time to break down, and a time and a time to build up. A time to weep, and a time to laugh. A time to mourn, and a time to dance. All right. While you people are weeping, we gonna laugh, man. All right. While you people are weeping, we gonna laugh, man. Okay. Yeah, we gonna laugh, man. A time to mourn, you niggas gonna mourn, man. And a time to dance, we gonna dance, man. All right, we gonna laugh and we gonna dance, man. We fi <laughs> we finished our job and the Lord is taking care of us, all right, and etc. All right, y'all gonna weep and y'all gonna mourn, man. All right, y'all gonna weep and y'all gonna mourn, man. All right, cause you, hey, <laughs> you ain't wanna get right. You ain't wanna get right, so hey, that's what you deserve. All right, you gonna weep and you gonna mourn, and that's what you deserve because you ain't want to get right. All right, a time to cast away stones, 
and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away. This is the point, verse 7. A time to rid and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak. And we're speaking right now. All right. We're speaking right now, but real soon, hey, it's going to be a time to keep silence. All right. When that time of keep when that time of keeping silence come, oh, it's over with. All right? It's over with. You know? That's when the Lord said, that's when the, that's when the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai, is saying it's over with. Plain and simple. All right? Cuz we speaking right now. All right? We speaking right now, man. The prophets, we speaking right now. All right? And hey, man, we speaking heavy. Very heavy cuz what? We at the end. All right? We speaking very heavy. But guess what? You people don't want to listen. Y'all still don't want to listen. All this shit that we've been, all 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 that we've been saying, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, for years, for years. All right. All they've been saying in the men on down. All we've been saying for years. All right. This was gonna come to pass. This was gonna come to pass. And y'all see it. All right. Instead of y'all taking heed and li and also listening. All right, no, y'all continue your wickedness. All right, hey, you gonna get judged, man. All right, and even and even that that's uh that's that's uh that's the Lord ultimately. All right, having y'all see what we've been t what we what we've been saying, having y'all see it. All right, the Lord having y'all see it what we've been saying. All right, but y'all just but y'all still on bullshit. All right, that's the Lord ultimately. All right, the Lord want to destroy y'all, man. Okay, Lord, the Lord want to destroy y'all. I'm gonna close out with this. This is Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse six. And now ye know that, forgive me. And now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time, for the mystery of iniquity doeth doeth already work. Only he who now letteth will let. Until he be taken out of the way. Verse 8. This is the point. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Right. Uh, the spirit of his mouth is the prophets, man. Okay. It's the prophets, man. Okay. I just wanted to bring this out, man. You know, the spirit, uh, the spirit of his mouth is the prophets, man. Okay. And like it says... You know the the wicked Esau, but really, what I want to bring this up, man. The spirit of his mouth is a prophet's man, okay. And we speaking, man. But real soon, in that time of uh, uh, being silent, being silent, uh, keep silent. That's coming, man. All right, and the Lord gonna keep us si The Lord gonna keep us silent. All right, cause hey, man, that time that time of speaking, the Lord, the Lord had us speaking. Now it's time to keep silence, man. And that time is coming real soon, man. Okay? It's coming real soon, man. So hey, the best thing, the best thing for you to do is hey, get right, man. Listen now. You know? Get right and listen now, man. Alright. That's the best thing, man. Alright. And the people I'm talking to is the so the people I'm talking to is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Israelites. That's who I'm talking to. Alright. So with that, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and citation to the sincere brothers pushing this truth in all truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth diligently. To you, I say Shalom.